West Coast Johnny coming to you from the edge of the continent, right where the ocean starts. But um, I think I'm going to go back to the shop because honestly, I've just been itching to do something with some fiberglass. So let's go back to the shop. Well, we're here back at the shop and I want to show you what we're going to make. And we're going to make it out of fiberglass. This is an old concrete tiki like a mask, a tiki head, but it was, it's was it been cast in cement, probably in the 50s or 60s, and what someone did, they had one like this, and they used it, they, they pushed it in the, the, there's like the special sand you can use, it's really cool, or you could just mix your own, it's some, there's something you, you put in it, and then you can really get all the detail when you do a sand casting with, with like cement, the right kind of cement, but what we're going to do, we're going to use this as, we're going to turn this into a master mold, a reversible, a, a reverse master mold for making more than one of these out of fiber. Okay, so here is how we're going to make our master mold. We're gonna put this guy up here. I'm using a piece of, it's like a white laminate, like a masonite. And once we have this on here, now we're gonna actually glue them together so they don't move. Then what we gotta do, all of this has to get filled with a lightweight body filler so wherever it goes down to the, to the back it just comes perfectly straight out and we want that all the way around and then we're going to start filling the imperfections see there's there's things like air bubbles in the concrete a big gouge missing that was an air pocket or something or something happened to it back in the old days but see, it has these lines, and we want to keep that detail. So uh, we're just going to fill the air pockets and stuff. And we have to, because if we don't, what's going to happen is when we put our resin and our fiberglass over this, it's, if it goes into these holes and stuff, it's not going to, you'll never release the mold. So we're going to actually fill them, sand them, and then we're going to prime paint this with a 2K primer, which means it's catalyzed. Uh, really nice primer. And then because I don't want the fiberglass resin to want to stick on here. And I tested several pieces of concrete with um, fiberglass the other day. And what I did was I used uh, different <clears throat> types of mold release. I used a wax, a spray, and another spray. And believe it or not, the wax worked the best. So I'm gonna use wax. So here's what I wanna show you. There's a lot of imperfections in this concrete casting. There's a big pocket that's been like tore out of the eye area. There's a big uh, air bubble here. There's air bubbles in the chin, air bubbles around the mouth and stuff. And we can't let resin or anything try to get hung up in there because then the mold will never release. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill all these little holes with a lightweight body filler. And when it's all smooth, but we still all gonna keep, we're still gonna keep the detail of the lines in the face so that we, when we put our mold release wax on this, the fiberglass will come off. First thing we're gonna do, we gotta glue it to this little board right here. It's like a white masonite board. Once it's glued here, then we gotta, do all the edges, all the way around, really nice. And then we have a frame. Now this frame is gonna go over this, and then the fiberglass, it's gonna go up and over and over this. But when you release it, the head and the, the um, bottom will stay, but the frame will go with the mold.
Well, I'm going to go ahead and use some uh, VCT adhesive. It's for uh, vinyl tiles, but this will hold. I got to hold these two together. Look at that. Can you see that? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Yeah, see, it's really, um, yeah, it's really soft stuff. So we kind of don't want to make a mess with this stuff. Let's see. Just like that. That's perfect. I don't know how much of the glue is actually stuck between the two, but I but it's gonna go. It's gonna drip down, and it, it might just work perfect. And the reason we're gluing these together is because when we fill all this on the sides with the lightweight body filler. We don't want to budge this and then have all that crack. So we want these to be connected. All right. So I'm going to let it sit here for, oh, I don't know, 24 hours or so, maybe more. And let it, let the glue dry. You can see the glue is, is actually uh, connected in some areas. So we'll come and check on this tomorrow. Okay, well, I decided that I didn't want to use the lightweight body filler because the gaps were too big, so I'm actually mixing up some kitty hair. It's a long strand reinforced fiberglass body filler, and it is extremely great for filling areas in that you never want to come apart. So we're going to mix this in really well, then we're going to mix up afterwards some of the body uh, filler, and then after that we're even going to use some finishing putty. So what I'm doing now, I'm just mixing it up really well, and then I'm applying it into the cracks between the actual uh, tiki mask and the wood. And I did put some uh, auto body uh, yellow masking tape all around everything because I didn't want to have extra fiberglass uh, kitty hair to sand off of areas if I could avoid it. So I was just trying to protect the area. Now see, this way is working really, really good. So we're just gonna keep going all the way around. All right, I got the kitty hair all around the edges. See that? We went all around because we don't want our fiberglass to go underneath because then it'll never pop out. There's a low spot there. I don't know if you can see it. I have to build that up because that's going to uh, make the the resin. It's going to go inside there and it's not going to want to pop up. So we have to fix that a little bit here. This looks all pretty good here. We're going to do some sanding and we got to do a little more in the front here. So I think from this point on, instead of using the kitty hair, I'm just going to mix up some lightweight body filler. Okay, we're just using some basic Evercoat lightweight body filler. I got it at a body shop. Okay. Just a ribbon. It's called a ribbon. All right, so I'm gonna start, it looks like here we need some. There we go.
Okay, there it is. So right here we need some. Okay, I got my glazing putty all around it, really nice, and it started to dry. I'm starting to sand it. I got to sand all this, and all this, it's all going to get sanded very smooth so that it's just like this really nice, smooth little transition. And then what we're going to do, we might have to put some of the, see these lines in his chin? I might have to extend them into the, down a little bit. Uh, this cleft in his chin went down a little further. So all that's going to get sanded. Now, I'm going to have to make this video end here at this mold uh, being created because it's going to be too much information. I don't want to make a really long video, maybe like two or three 10-minute videos. So all right, everybody. If you're new to this channel, thanks for subscribing. I hope you like the content. Uh, let me know. Leave a message. Uh, anyone has any questions? Any fiberglass freaks out there have any fiberglass questions? Tell me. All right, everybody. Thank you.